Hello everyone, this is Ryan Neasel from Neasel Woodworking Designs. Today, during this video, we're going to be making a stove top cover for my good friend Dana. Right here I am ripping down a beautiful piece of African mahogany that I got from Southern Specialty Supply, which is where I get all of my hardwood. They have amazing prices that are very competitive with today's market, and yet they have a really good selection of different hardwoods as well. I'm going to be putting a link to his website in the description below. During this embarrassing section, I tried separating these two pieces of wood that I had just ripped down to thinner pieces. I tried my hand saw, I tried my finish saw, I tried even the old saw that I got from my wife's grandfather, but eventually I just ended up using a sledgehammer and a wedge. I love it when my kids come and try to get involved. I just had my son double check a measurement, just to make sure I cut that board the right length. He told me what the measurement was and I figured out that it was a little bit too long. But get your kids involved early in what you're doing. Your love may very well become their own. Even if they don't do things correctly, there was no screw in this. He was just pressing the drill bit <laughs> into the wood but he's showing interest, so I don't want to discourage that. Since this is going to be a wider panel, I want to obviously make sure that it is as flat as I can possibly make it. So I'm taking a good couple pieces that I know are nice and straight, and clamping them vertically first, and then I'm tightening the red horizontals. Rockler actually has a new panel clamp that they've come out with that applies pressure four ways at the same time, and I'm just dreaming of getting that someday. But that is in the future, but right now I'm working with what I have.
after you find the centers of where you want your dowels to go, I am going to be using a self-centering doweling jig that I got from Tyson, T-Y-S-U-N. You can get it on Amazon, and I absolutely love it. It puts the hole right in the center, perfectly straight, and I'm just never going back. They have separate inserts that you can actually put in so you can have smaller or larger dowels. at least want to dry fit one in there so basically if you cut a dowel halfway down and then turn it 90 degrees and cut it down that other way the dowel can be put in and taken back out with ease instead of trying to take them out with pliers or something like that and ruining the dowel once you have your dowels all lined up and your boards all good you can then move to the gluing up stage Once I glued up the middle seam, I used my Mazurdo clamps to get everything pulled together tightly. These are a really good set of pipe clamps for the woodworker on a budget. Right now you can get a four pack for $34.99 on Amazon and I will be putting a link to them in the description below. Three quarter strips of white oak and purple heart are going to be glued onto the very bottom of the board to have it sit above the burners of the stove, essentially extending your countertop space.
sandpaper that I'm using is called 3M Cubitron 2. Really good, long lasting, high quality sandpaper that you don't need to use nearly as much because of the good quality. They have a really good variety pack on Amazon, which I'll also be linking in the description below. I am absolutely obsessed with what this cutting board oil does to this wood. The amount of change that happens is absolutely stunning. It brings out the character in the purple heart in the African mahogany. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> 